Hello again. Today I'm going to show everybody how we can deploy a Plex server as a container on a RHEL 9 host server that's using Podman without disabling SE Linux and also mounting the media volume to an NFS share. So let's get started with that. We're going to first do everything off of Portainer. Now you can set up a YAML file and use um, Podman Compose or even Docker Compose if you're using Docker to do the same thing and just do it from the command line. But we're going to show it all through Portainer. So what we're going to do is first look at our stacks. So you see this is where I have my original one that I set up. So we're going to create a new stack. And we're just going to call this one Media Server. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take my YAML file that I made. We're going to paste it right in here. And I'm going to go through this real quick. So what we have is our volumes. And I just named this one media, if it's the name of media. And we have the driver ops. The type is NFS. This is what's going to allow us to do the NFS mount and we don't need to go to that extent right there there we go so we have the address of the NFS server it's a Synology NAS um, no lock soft read only and the device mount is right here volume 1 video and that's the base for um, on my volumes so it has movies um, TV shows everything else on here then we're going to do under services, we're going to say Plex, the container name, we'll call it um, Plex Media, since we already have one, so this way it will distinguish it. Uh, restart unless stopped, you can set it to always if you want, uh, otherwise unless stopped is just fine. Here's all the port redirects. Then our environment, your time zone, set that to what you need to do. Um, then you have your Plex claim. This is the claim thing right here. So what you want to do, go to Plex TV slash claim, and you will see your claim code for your um, account. So just copy this and then paste it right here into um, this field right here. Then you want to have your advertised IP. Uh, this is the server that it's running on with the port 32400, and you can have a host name right here. The volumes are right here. We have our Plex database, and that's mapping to config. Now here's the key thing here for the um, SE Linux part. Put a colon Z, and that'll label it properly, um, relabel it um, with the SE context that it needs so it'll work properly. If you don't have that on there, I mean, if you're not using SE Linux, you don't need to put the colon Z on there. So we have the database, we have our transcode. Both of these are pointing to local volumes. I'll probably move the transcode into the NFS as well um, to keep it off of the local one. But um, for now, I just kept it here. And then the Plex Media is set for data. And on my server, I have it already mounted out to, um, and I think we can go look if we hop on here you can see right here this is the um, FS tab file and it's pointing to the correct folder that we need so what we also need to do for so that's the other one so what we're gonna want to do is we will want to um, let's see we'll clear this to, we'll clear this to clean it up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a directory called Plex media we're going to use this command we're going to create three more directories off of that database transcode and media didn't see I didn't include the, the slash there we go now we have all those so let's go back and have this tab
Getting lots of fun typos today. Um, we're just gonna mount this again. As we can see right now, it has NFS for the type. These have default, they're wrong. When we start this up, it's going to, um, it's gonna relabel it and it'll be correct. Switch back over to here. Put this in the claim. And I think we're ready to go. So now we just deploy the stack. And we have our stack coming up right here. And if we go back and rerun, Change these real quick. And I think that's everything. So then we're going to update the stack. And there we go. Just forgot to change those to the correct path. Now, if we go in here. And there we go. Now it's relabeled properly. And that is pretty much it. Um, the server is now up and running. We can come and look at the information in the container details. It says it's running. We can look at logs. We can look at stats. But that will get you going. Um, hopefully that helps and you found this information um, helpful. That is it for now. Um, thank you again and until next time, see you later.